What's up, y'all? Welcome back to BNB Toys. Uh, I wanted to take a look at these retro figures I was adding to my line. Also, talk a little bit about them. Kind of upset. I'm going to have to pick up the other figures to fill in the rest of the collection. Even the vehicles I was going to pass on, but I want those figures. It's kind of upsetting that it seems like Hasbro's putting this on pause and now they're focusing on a six inch line, which is fine, but I like to see different figures, newer figures, and that. But, anyways, Today we got the Cobra Officer. Just gonna do a quick little review, show you their articulation, the items they came with. Take a look at some of the other figures I recently picked up. And we're also gonna look at the Snake Eyes here. She comes with a lot of stuff, dude. He comes with a lot of stuff just like Storm Shadow did. And we're gonna take a look at Duke, which I really wish they did a different head sculpt on him. Yeah. I think he would have just, he would have used a more manlier head instead of, yelling I think would have been good for a grunt. That would have been good for a guy that, you know, a guy that's on the front lines running into battle. You know, and then look at this, it's very stoic. Like, this looks like someone, you know, that's in charge, not this. This looks like someone that's charging. <laughs> um, So, as far as the Duke figure goes, I kind of... Not a fan of this here. It would be nice if it was a lot thinner, but it's really bulky and it almost seems like it's for a bigger figure. But it does snap off. And you can see in here he's got a nice little shirt on. I wish it was more tan. I don't know. It's just like a little yellower than I wish it would be. But it's really nice. The colors pop very nicely. It almost seems like if you look at the rest of this line, like it's very dark. I mean, there's colors in it, but like, if you look at this guy, he just doesn't look like he belongs in this line at all. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyways, glad to add to my collection to have more of these G.I. Joe retros. So as you saw, the hat, the helmet actually comes off really nice. Fits on there quite nicely, I'd say, for the most part. And th like I said, this comes off, so you can see here. It doesn't. I don't think it hinders much of the articulation, to be honest with you. It still moves around just as much, or as little as it can, I should say. Okay, there we go. It's kind of stuck together. So his arms are the typical. They got this really nice height here, and then also you can go up here. It's the same for all the other figures. He's got these really nice elbows. Go back, forth, you need to bend them backwards. The knee, the legs. You can do the splits for sure, which is really nice. You can get a seated position too. Really nice one with these baggy pants. Keep his feet. Just nice because you got that really nice articulation. No rocker. No, but we do have a lot of rotation in that ankle. The knees are really, really nice on this guy. Like if you want to jump, like this is a great action figure. Or, you know, action figure dub. But you know what I'm saying. Like, a good figure to use for action shots. Like, that would be great. Like, an explosion behind him. And then just coming down on one of the Cobra Troopers. Or an officer that we got here. So, with Duke, he obviously gets his stand. Whichever one comes with the stand. He has a machine gun. Or a rifle here. Not really keen on exactly what it is. But, man, this is really nice. Does have this little star tab on the back? I never checked to see if that's for sticking on his back, but yeah, it definitely wouldn't go on there. But if you see what I'm saying, I should say if you could see, yeah, it looks like a little star there that would like stick on a backpack or something, but he never came with the backpack. And his right handgun here, which I don't think anybody's gotten this yet, maybe a roadblock, but I'm not sure. But this is a really nice pistol. Almost looks like it's a little brush there, like the swirl in the plastic. Yep, another very nice weapon here. I'll put these in a little bit, so use all these small parts. All right, so we'll take a look at the officer here. This guy's really nice. I wish they would have made him more sculpted like the uh, classified ones. This is what he looks like with his helmet off. Yeah, that sculpt's amazing. The hair's really, really nice. This mask's awesome. The head can pop off, so if you want to use it for another figure, maybe you want to use it for upcoming Batman or something, paint his hair. Who knows? Oop. Well, I just lost the hat. Helmet, give me a sec. I keep calling it a hat. <laughs> lost the helmet. There it goes. You see the helmet just fits on like that. 
so it comes down all the way down here and comes back around there. Not too much. Got a little fuzz on there. I'll take that hat off for a little bit. His arms pretty much run the same, but he's got a little more sculpt in here, which is really nice if you guys can see that. His collar. Yeah, all the way through this figure, he's got really nice sculpt. Maybe not so much on the back, but he's got straps that go all the way around, so that's always nice. Uh, the webbing doesn't interrupt his articulation a little bit, but you can get around it with pushing it up and then moving the figure around as you please. Yeah, I kind of just yanked on an arm like that. I shouldn't have done that. Again, splits. This guy's even better. Look at my flat with them. He's got this really nice cut here, which a lot of this line doesn't have. That's what... Let's see, did Duke have that? Yeah, see, the Duke figure didn't have that cut there. So I think this is cause, that's because this is a newer sculpt, but man, this is really nice. I mean, look how far he can even get his leg up. You can't do that with a lot of Spider-Man figure. Of course, the new ones you can. His boot comes back that far and goes this far forward. And believe it or not, this guy's got rocker. I wish they all had rocker. The articulation here in the boot's really nice. Yeah, great. Uh oh, that happens sometimes. You just like slide it back in there like that, and there it is. Yeah, give you guys a good look at this figure. Those knee pads are awesome. I can't wait for this classified one. My bats and my um, Star Wars Jedi Stormtrooper patrols. I'm not really doing much Black Series, but those will be in tomorrow. I'm probably going to run this, probably run this review by Monday, so I'm sure I'll probably have those videos up by then. Uh, here's his pistol. Nice, typical military issue, I'm sure. Man, it's not flimsy. I mean, it is a little bit, to be honest with you, when you get here. But it doesn't feel flimsy. His rifle, which is very flimsy, but that's fine. I'd rather have it that than break, I guess. Again, nice detail for a $12.99 figure. And geez, we can't, we can't even get some of these. I wish they would do Star Wars like this. I get it because it's a license thing. This is awesome, man. I really like this SMG. I might mess around and do some pictures with the other figures. I just got to get a little, like, flash, you know, shooting effects. I think those would be really nice. Oh, yeah. So, well, the stand. There's the stand. Who cares? Because here's the coolest thing this officer comes with, dude. Freaking mortar launcher. This thing is smooth, silky, and I don't want you to get the wrong idea about it, but this does not feel like a Hasbro item. It's very quality. If you guys look, you can... You can kind of see what I'm saying. Like, you, you can, if you've known Hasbro for a long time, like I have, you look at this and you're like, dude, this is really nice. Like, if this is what Hasbro is leading into, they need to make more of these. I like that they did put the hole in case you want to do a little, like, flame or smoke coming out. Yeah, this is not flimsy. I wish they would make the guns, like, this thick. This is really nice thick. And I get it because it'll break. But yeah, this thing's perfect. You can adjust the different lengths, of course. You can put it like this. Not sure if you can carry it. Yeah, we don't. The lack of a back, backpack for some of these figures is a little upsetting for this line. Yeah. Can't lie, man. That officer is my favorite figure out of these. Of course, I love snake eyes, but I have a little bit of issues with this figure. So I'll show you the stand first. Love the head. I'm not digging, I'm not digging all this webbing stuff, dude. I don't know, like, is he parachuting? That's, that's just what I, when I see it, that's just what I think of. I know a lot of military stuff use webbing. There's a lot of ports to put a lot of stuff. I usually just like my figure to have a couple weapons up and look like he's ready to fight. Like, you know, I don't want him with a backpack and, I don't know. But, man, look at this this figure. I don't know. I don't really care for this stuff. I like, I'm going to take this off, of course. I mean, it sucks that I got some of the holes, but... I'll figure out what to do. Yeah, because that's where all of his like, weapons go on and stuff. So I'll show you guys articulation on this figure. Snake eyes. 
So it goes down that far. Head comes back up, up to normal. It's got a little bit of tilt in there for sass. Kind of forgot to look over the last two figures for that. I'm sure it's about the same. His arm comes way up. Holy crap. What is it with this hand? Why is it stuck? Okay. Look at that. Oh, both ways. Yeah, very impressed with that. And then the elbow, still got the typical elbow. Or I should say has. I think he was one of the first. He came out the first wave. The hand with the ugly, the hand. That just reminds me of the old Darth Vader hand. I don't know why. It just reminds me of the Vader hand. Not much movement. It's kind of hindered in here with all this webbing. You saw the legs to that. There's no cut at the thigh. Legs got really nice. Perfect for if you want this figure on his knees. If you want him like to slide or something like that. Or do a power slide with the guitar. Yeah. And then that's it for the foot. Just. Yeah. No rockers. No cut up at the boot. Is there a cut here at the shin? Oh no. That's just the pocket line in there. So. Yeah, the articulation is very, very nice on this figure. I like it a lot. I just don't care for that webbing. And it's unfortunate because, you know, like I said, that's what holds the items in. So we'll take a look. He's got a, <clears throat> a Merce. Can anybody actually explain to me what this is? I get it. Maybe he's got it to carry extra ammunition, or maybe this is for a mission. And he's got to blow something up with some C4. Comes with another awesome SMG in this line. Really nice lining on there. Uh, and then he's got a pistol duels here. Oh, these are actually two different pistols. My bad, guys. You can see them that well. But I'm only going to try this with one, and I don't want to lose these pieces. Ugh. They're so tiny. There's two of these, and I think what you're supposed to do is just slaps on. So then this gun becomes a silenced gun. It's awesome. I just don't like losing pieces. It's the same with the other one where it just slides on there. Uh, he also comes with a couple of daggers. I'm not sure if these are seen before in the line. or Well, I know a lot of this is reused from previous lines like 25th anniversary and all that his sword which is beautiful i like it's got a little snake s on there and almost looks like fishtail on there yeah it's really nice yeah nice style i like the guard comes up like that good sword i got one before it was on clearance at walmart for whatever price and I was going to do the review, and then I saw that somebody cut it open and stole that out. I don't know why they stole that out. Maybe it was missing theirs from the past. <laughs> so, on the webbing, you have these big holes here, and you have this plug, and this plugs like it plugs in just like that, and that's his sheets. I like that they have the holes. Apparently, I think that move was made to put holes in these toy sheets, so for airflow, I'm not sure if that's true. Again, I've heard stuff too, like in case of somebody, if kid swallows it, he can breathe through it. I don't know. Who knows? Sword goes in there nice. Does it lock in? It does. Really, really nice. Look at that. Now, what's nice with this set is you get two of the sheets. Both of them have that pin. Both of them have the air holes on both sides. And you get both of his swords. Really, really nice. To the point. All right, so I'm gonna go freehand here. I'm trying to be a little sloppy with you guys, and I just wanted to show you Destro. I tried to do a review on him, and one of the pieces in that briefcase, the tiny little like stock one, I lost it for a long time, and I just recently, like within the last week and a half, found it. So I'm so happy to finally have to figure together Storm Shadow. I wanted to do a review, but there was just so many parts at the time, and I didn't want to lose a lot of the pieces. Now that I feel a lot more comfortable, I got a better setup. 
yeah, maybe I'll hop into an older figure of his if I can pull it out. But yeah, that's my review for these guys. As you see, I used their trays. And then what I do is I'll bag up all the parts and then take the figures and whatever weapon and with the stand and then put them up and they'll all go sit on my shelf. One day I'll show you guys my shelf. Well, I can kind of show you now, actually. <laughs> It's got Tigra, I got a bunch of guys up there. Just did that storm. Oh, American Wear from London. Yeah. Yeah, even got a little down here too. I just picked up that I can't remember what that guy's name is, to be honest with you. Joker King, I just picked up. So yeah. Um if you guys are into the retro line, let me know. Comment below and hopefully they keep it going because I love G.I. Joe. So, all right. Thank you, guys. Please, as always, like and subscribe. See you next time. Be safe. Go, Joe.